some effects that Ralph was doing in your cup that you know, was in your cup series here um, in Ordering. <laughs> Welcome everyone to the Red Bull Ring for the Clio Cup Euro Series. We are getting ready to go for the first race of the weekend. Cars are on the grid. It's going to be a 25 minutes plus one lap race. Dry conditions, that's not what it's been throughout the weekend so far. We had wet conditions throughout practice yesterday, but that is not the case today. This, the... Uh, you can see the cars getting ready on the grid. Plenty of them out there today. And this weekend is going to be a fantastic contest. I was here last year watching from the grandstands like those people uh, are when these guys were racing. And it was uh, an absolutely fantastic contest. So uh, be sure to get ready for what should be some fantastic racing in the Clio Cup Euro Series. Here's the grid for you for round six here at the Red Bull win of Clio Cup Europe from Red Bull Ring. Anthony Girardo and David Pouget will be on row one. Gabrielli Torelli and Thomas Picard will be on row two. Uh, Alessandro Bregatti and Gabor Tim will be on row number three. Kristan Riccarini and Jerzy Spinkovic will be on row four. Uh, Mark Gio and Sandro Subek will be on row five. Nico Abia and Mariano Alonso will be on row number six. Row seven will be Nicola Milan, one to watch. Cosimo Papi will be alongside him. Then we have Nicola Mikovic and Guillaume Mayo next along. Sandro Cattini uh, and Andreas Stucchi will be on row number nine. Giacomo Trebi and William Mazzetti will be row ten. Uh, Julian Bazire and uh, Henrik Seibel will be on row 11. Then it's uh, Rennie Steenmitz next along. Stefan Polderman will be on row number 12 next. Giacomo Giuseppe Sinemis will be on row number 13 with Alessio uh, Alcidi. And Juso Pantia, Chen Handlin will be alongside him on row 14. Guyo Bensi and Pietro uh, Blue Metti will be alongside him. Due uh, and Vittorio Sadotti will be lining up from 32nd place. 33rd will be Horn. Daniele Pasquale will be alongside him. Gabriel Alonso and Lorenzo Baroni will be next along. And they keep going. Quinto Stefana uh, and Gianberto Caldoni next. And then one to watch from the back of the grid. Felice Gelmini going off the back row. Definitely one to watch. Damiano Pacchetti alongside him. The number 44, Felice Gelmini, the leader of the Clio Cup Italia series. Now you can see the fans getting ready. This is Clio Cup Europe. This is round six. This is race one from the Red Bull ring. 25 minutes plus a lap. So glad it is dry conditions because it was an absolutely spectacular race we had last year. We are a little bit behind schedule, so sorry for the delay. Some red flags uh, in the session we just had uh, out the GT cars that were just on track a couple of red flags in their session so uh, we are a little bit delayed but the formation lap will be going uh, in just over a minute's time anthony gerardo there to the right hand side of your screen will lead us away david Pouget to the left of screen now in clio cup europe uh, as we approach uh, the second half or we get into the second half of the season nicola milan is leading the way 413 points for him uh, Mark Gouillet is uh, next along of 369 points. Anthony Girardo has 349 points. Then it's David Pouget in fourth, 347 points. Uh, and rounding out the top five, uh, Jerzy Spinkovic on 300 points. So uh, Nicola Milan going very, very well so far. But starting down in 13th place in this one, uh, in the number one car. 15 seconds before we see them off for the formation lap. It will be a standing star as it always is. And then we will see him charging up towards turn number one uh, here at the Red Bull ring. It's going to be an absolutely spectacular race, a race of slipstreaming, no doubt. 
a tactical race. It's uh, going to be a race of uh, who times their race the best as well, I think. Uh, almost one of those cases where do you want to be in the lead coming on to the final couple of laps as we uh, go off for our formation lap. Anthony Gerardo leads us away there in the green and orange colours, just getting the tyres up to temperature. As they come up, you can see the sausage cup. Got to be careful uh, of that on the exit. Track limits will come into play uh, throughout uh, this race as well. Turn one, turn nine and turn ten are the three corners that are going to be watched throughout the weekend. So uh, the guys uh, do need to be aware of running over uh, that sausage curb there. Also need to be uh, aware of running wide through uh, turn number nine, going uh, with four wheels over the, uh, you can see the runoff curb there, the red and white runoff curb, got to be careful of running over that. Likewise at turn 10 uh, as well. It's uh, a kind of a three strikes and you're out case really. Do it three times, black and white flag comes out after that. That's when the five second penalties start getting awarded. So something that the drivers have to be aware of. There were lots and lots of uh, penalties. Uh, warnings and penalties going out in practice. So that's not a problem, really. Drivers finding the limit uh, during free practice. It was a wet free practice, uh, like I said as well yesterday. Sometimes they got out in the drive for a little bit, then it rained, and it would be a little bit dry, and then it rained again. So we haven't really uh, had proper conditions like this where it's been bone dry. So this is going to be a really interesting session, actually. First race of two coming up for you uh, this weekend. Uh, and the race here last year was a case of the, the top four kind of sprinting away and uh, who wanted to be in the lead come the end uh, of the race. In terms of our championship, like I said, Nicola Milan starting down 13th. He leads the way in the standings in uh, the uh, Clio Cup Europe Championship. So uh, watch out for him see what he can do but uh, also uh, our Clio Cup Italia championship leader Felice Gelmini starting all the way uh, from row 20 so let's see what he can do starting from 39th place Felice Gelmini in the number 44 car will monitor his progress as we go throughout the race there is the number one car of Nicolas Milan like we said Starting down on row seven, let's see what he can do in the number one car. We'll be looking to make progress fairly quickly, looking to stay out of trouble as well because he's in a section uh, of the grid where it could all kick off very, very quickly. As they make their way up towards the start of the grid now, Anthony Gerardo third in the championship. This is a fantastic opportunity for him starting from the front row from the right hand side of our screen pole position one of his title rivals one of the man he's trying to hunt down in the championship all the way down in 13th place likewise for david Puget, fourth in the championship just two points behind anthony gerardo who sits third in the championship are we going to see those two working together slightly here i wonder to push away from the likes of Nicola Milan and try and get a gap uh, early on. We could see a little bit of that. You do see that in Clio Cup racing. Drivers pushing away with each other, working together. Here we go then. It looks like the last of the cars, uh, Felice Gelmini on that back row is going to be in position very, very shortly. It's going to be 25 minutes plus a lap of racing here at the Red Bull Ring. The first of two races coming up for you this weekend in the Clio Cup Europe Series. You can see the cars lining up on the grid, getting ready to go. The green flag has waved at the back of the field. To the right of screen is Anthony Gerardo. To the left of, of the screen is David Pouget. We are go here at the Red Bull Ring and a great start there for David Pouget and he immediately takes the lead from Anthony Gerardo as they make their way up the hill towards turn number one and David Pouget going straight through uh, into the lead. It looks like Gabriele Torelli has gone through into second place so Anthony Gerardo uh, dropping down into third as they make their way now down towards turn number three. We are a 
away and clear here at the Red Bull Ring. It looks like a nice, clean start from all 40 drivers as they make their way up towards turn number three for the first time. Anthony Gerardo there in the orange and blue trying to go round the outside to try and retake that second place. Hasn't quite been able to do, do so. One or two drivers running wide as they now make their way down towards turn number four. Top three, Lina Stern here. Gabriele Torelli doing a really good job trying to get through into the lead as they go side by side for the lead there. Coming through at turn number four, fantastic racing as they make their way now up towards turn six and seven. We are side by side for the lead here. You can see them a battle on the brakes as David Pouget there coming through into the lead on the inside line. Fantastic racing. That's going to be our pole sitter going back through uh, into uh, second place then. Great stuff from Anthony Gerardo. He's back through into second as they now come through turn number seven and eight and up towards the final two corners. Just over 23 minutes plus one lap remaining in this one into the final two corners. Oh, a dive down the inside a little bit further back. That was a, a brave move there. I think that was uh, Jerzy Spinkovic. I think that might have been trying to make a move down the inside. Fantastic move uh, from him into the final couple of corners. As across the line we go, David Pouget leading the way from Anthony Gerardo. Gabriele Torelli in third place on the brakes in towards turn number one. Got to be careful they don't run over that sausage curb on the exit. Good driving as Anthony Gerardo immediately trying to look down the inside there of David Pouget. Pouget covering it off straight away as we go up towards turn number two now. And Pouget there covering the inside line. That's going to be Gerardo looking to the outside line. Is Gerardo going to be able to find a gap on the outside? He sold the dummy. Here comes Gerardo now on the left of screen. And Anthony Gerardo retakes the lead here at the Red Bull Ring. Didn't get a good start off the line, but Anthony Gerardo has worked hard in this first lap and a half. And he is now back through into the lead, but he's got to get the lead back now down towards turn number four. It looks like David Pouchet has gone back through in the white and yellow colours. There's Gabriele Torelli to the right of screen, the number 12 car going back through into second place. Hard to know where to look in this one. I told you it was going to be hectic. Fantastic racing here in Clio Cup Europe as they come up towards turn number six. So, David Pouget leads. Gabriele Torelli is in second. And third place then is Gerardo as they now come up towards turn number seven as Gerardo dives back down the inside and retakes second place. Thomas Picard is in fourth place then in the all-orange livery, or is he going to be? He's in danger of losing that position to Brigatti, it seems, up towards the penultimate corner we go, and Picard is going to lose fourth place, so Brigatti there going through to fourth place. Good driving from him, may even take third place there from Gabriele Torelli, not quite able to do so. Just over 20 minutes then on the clock as we come across the line one more time. Two laps in the books and Pouget is leading from Gerardo. The top two getting a little bit of a gap here as we come up towards the first corner. One more time, whoa, three wide going through the first corner there. Somehow they all made it through. Great driving from all of them there to get through nice and cleanly, but I think Gerardo is going to challenge for the lead. Are we going to see him make that same attempt, sell the dummy once more, go down the inside? Yes, is the answer. Here he comes, down the inside, and Anthony Gerardo is your leader once more here at the Red Bull Ring. Third place is Gabriele Torelli. Brigatti is in fourth place. Then we've got this whole queue of cars next along. Kian Mayo is climbing up the order nicely as well. Uh, 14th place. Looks like uh, he's moving up on this lap as they now come back down towards turn number four. Side by side, a little bit further back we are. It looked like Sandro Subek was on the inside. Going through into the top ten. Up towards turn number six, running wide, I think was a Mark Guillo there. Was in a little bit of trouble coming out of turn number seven, that might have been. Down towards turn number seven we go now. Queue of cars here, you can see the number 211 where of Nikola Milkovic. Right in the middle of this train as they head up towards the final two corners. Gerardo is your leader, second is Pouget, Torelli is in third. 
Torelli has done a good job here all by himself. He's closed the gap down to the top two and he's not going to be alone. He's bringing new company with him for the first time. We're going to see Bregatti challenging for the lead of this race. Here they are up towards the start finish line one more time. The top six are covered by less than two seconds in this race. Up towards turn number one we go. There you can see a little bit further back sideways on the braking there with Sandro Subek and he's going to lose a place in the process. The all-white car there of Subek there opens the door and says, go through to eighth place, please, Gabor Tim, who says, thank you very much. Through he goes. Gabor Tim through into eighth place. Riccarini is going to go through into ninth place as well. Riccarini to the right-hand side of the screen, second in that queue, trying to go around the outside, and Christian Riccarini makes a place as well. Brilliant driving from him. He's gone up into eighth place there. That's that queue behind. We've got uh, Nicolas Milan in there as well. He's to the far right-hand side of the screen in the green and white as you look right to the top of screen. That's uh, Nicolas Milan. Is he going to make a place? Yes. He's right in the middle of our picture. Nicolas Milan is... Is he going to go through? Yes, he's going to make another one on the exit of the corner as well. Fantastic driving from our championship leader, Nicola Milan, climbing up to what's that eighth place? I think that is now for Nicola Milan. He started this lap in 11th. Whoa, we've got an incident there. We've got a driver in the gravel. I think it's Sandro Subek who is off in the gravel, unfortunately, trying to keep the car running. And Subek, I think Riccarini was involved as well, unfortunately. Subek rejoining and in the path of the rest of the field. Got to be careful there, Sandro. Here's our leaders once more. Feels like we haven't seen them in a little while. Uh, there's Alessandro uh, Brigatti. It's a driver it feels like we haven't seen for a while as well. Here's a replay of what happened. Well, that's just... Uh, little bit of uh, spatial unawareness, I think, from uh, Sandro Subek, a driver uh, on the outside. I just don't think he realised he was there. I don't know if you can place the blame on Subek there. I mean, uh, someone putting a car on the outside when you're already on the runoff kerb. I can see why Sandro Subek was running to where he was. So I think both drivers will be pointing the finger at, the, uh, at each other in that one. Right back to our leaders, Anthony Girardo leading the way, but is he going to stay there as we come up towards turn number three to the right-hand side of the screen? David Pouget on the brakes there, trying to get through, not quite able to make it through in the yellow and white colours as they now come up towards turn number four. Gabriele Torelli in third place, and it's Mark Guillo in fourth place. Brigatti next, Picard after that, then Jerzy Spinkovic. And then Nicola Milan is the next after this lead seven group. So your seven is Gerardo, Pouget, Torelli, Guillo, Brigatti, Picard, Spinkovic. That's the lead seven as they now make their way round turn five, up towards turn six. Gerardo doing a good job to sustain this pressure. Fastest lap going in from Gabriele Torelli. Third place he sits. You can see the top three have just got a little bit of a gap now. He's got the toe off this top two. Oh, running a bit wide there was uh, Pouget in second place. That's just allowed Torelli to get a little bit closer. And we're side by side up in the background as well. That's Thomas Picard in the orange trying to go around the outside. Not quite able to get through. He's trying to go around the outside of Brigatti. Uh, and instead, he's going to lose a the position. There goes Jerzy Spinkovic, who's got a wing mirror hanging off. Always looks entertaining when that happens. Jerzy Spinkovic going through into sixth place. 15 and a half minutes plus an extra lap to go. Up towards turn number one. Here comes an attempted move from David Pouget down the inside there of Anthony Gerardo and through into the race lead. That's the best move we've seen all race so far. Fantastic driving there from Tab David Pouget to take the lead of the race away from Anthony Gerardo and good driving from Gerardo to give him the space as well. That could have ended in tears for the pair of them. So Pouget is now our race leader once more. Gerardo is in second place. Brave on the brakes there from Gerardo as well to hold on to second as they make their way out of turn three and now down towards turn number four. Fantastic racing in Clio Cup Europe. It is like this all the time as they come down towards turn number four. Now, we're going to see a lunge from the driver in third. Gabriele Torelli was thinking about it there, wasn't he? Just gives a little nudge to Gerardo. So get on with it, son. Mark Guillaume in fourth place there. 
and you could see Mark Guillaume does not. He wants the toe there from the top three. You could just see him slightly leaning on the brake there just to make sure he's got the toe. So this is where the games start to be played as we move towards the second half of the race. It's do you want to be in the lead going on to the last lap? That's the question the drivers start asking themselves. The other question we need to start asking ourselves is, is Nicola Milan in eighth place going to be able to catch this top seven? He's currently nine tenths behind, uh, and last time round he was one second quicker than the top seven. I'll point him out to you as we make our way through the final corner. So, he's in the all green coloured car, predominantly green coloured car. There he is. Uh, you'll see him right at the top of the screen. Keep your eye towards the top of the screen. That's our championship leader, Nicola Milan. He's running in eighth place in this race, and he is closing in on this top seven. He'll probably be with them by the end of this lap. There he is, Nicola Milan. He's not alone either, is he? Gambor Tim, Nico Abella, both with him as well as they now make their way down through turn number two and up towards turn number three, ready to hit the brakes. Thomas Picar in the 101, looking to the outside, trying to look to the inside was Anthony Gerardo, looking to the outside was Gabriele Torelli, almost three wide, Torelli one's wide there. Is he going to lose third place to Marquio? Not quite. Holds on to the position, only just as uh, that was uh, Thomas Picar there, almost going on the grass, making his way down towards turn number four there. Side by side with Jerzy Spinkovic. Here they are in the background. They can see in the all orange. Good move there from Picard to retake that sixth place away from Jerzy Spinkovic. Nicola Milan has left the drivers behind him for dead and he is right with this top seven now. Whoa, lunge coming in there from Jerzy Spinkovic. Don't know if it was able to pay off, but uh, he gave it a good go, didn't he, Spinkovic? Didn't quite pay off, but now he's got Nicola Milan to deal with as they come through turn number seven. 12 and a half to go, plus a lap. Here's a replay. Whoa, spin for 177 there, unfortunately. Spun one way, then the other. Real shame there for Pietro uh, Blametti. And that's going to see him tumble uh, way down out of the top 30. Felice Gelmini, who started 39th place, is now in 18th place, by the way. Our Clio Cup Italia leader, 18th place. Over 20 places gained so far in this race. Through turn number one, we come one more time. Nicola Milan is about to break into this top seven. Running in eighth place so far, but he's about to make his first move. He is the last of this lead eight. They've kind of split into two groups. We've got a lead trio and then a chasing quintet now, haven't we, as we come uh, up towards turn number three on the brakes there. There comes a move from Anthony Gerardo, trying to take the race lead away from David Pouget and gets through. Fantastic driving uh, there from Anthony Gerardo. Christian uh, Riccarini is the driver uh, who's going to get the time penalty there for track limits. He's running in 15th place so far. Uh, that would drop him to uh, about 20th place, it seems. So uh, unfortunate for him. Three wide in the background. Jose Spinkovic making two places there. Past Brigatti, past Pika, and now Nicola Milan makes the switch back. He's going to go through into sixth place. Here we go, in towards turn number six, side by side there for third place as well. Mark Gio trying to take third place as well from Gabriele Torelli. Is he going to be able to make it? Yes, he's on the inside into turn seven. Nicola Milan goes round the outside uh, of Jerzy Spinkovic, uh, and he, uh, no, Spinkovic, uh, apologies. That's uh, Thomas Pika. He goes round the outside of, uh, and that is a change of position. So that is Nicola Milan up into seventh place. So Milan is now into the top eight. He's passed one of this top eight. And there comes Jerzy Spinkovic with that mid wing there hanging off. You can easily tell him apart from the rest of the field now. Down towards turn number one one more time. Gerardo still our race leader. Despite all of this change and we've had going on behind, he still leads the race. Fantastic driving from Gerardo. Up the crest they come now on the sausage curve, but he's run a bit wide. He's opened the door. Gabriele Torelli's got the run. Torelli's got the run now down towards turn number three. And Gerardo pulling over all the way to the outside of the circuit. Side by side we go up towards turn number three. 
That's Gabriele Torelli on the inside, and Gabriele Torelli is going to take the lead of the race away from Anthony Gerardo on lap number nine. Fantastic driving from Torelli. Persistency paying off there for the Italian, but he ran wide on the brakes, and Gerardo's going to go back through. Fantastic driving from Anthony Gerardo. Down towards turn number four, one more time, side by side we go. And in the background, that's David Pouget in the yellow and white trying to get back involved in this. Two by two they go through turn number five now and up towards turn number six. And Gerardo somehow is still leading this race ahead of Gabriele Torelli. Mark Guillaume side by side with David Pouget behind for third place. Jerzy Spinkovic is up to fifth place now. Could go through to fourth place. There he is to the left-hand side of screen, working his way forward nicely. If he tucks in behind uh, Pouget here, he could work his way through to fourth and has done so. Jerzy Spinkovic now P4. If he can make this move up towards turn number nine, there you see him to the far left of screen. Jerzy Spinkovic in towards turn number nine. has got to be brave and is brave. Bro well, he goes so, so wide there, Jerzy Spinkovic, but goes through into P4. Well, I'm glad the safety car has gone out because, honestly, I need a breather. Wow, what a fantastic race this has been. Anthony Gerardo leading from Gabriele Torelli, David Pouget, Jerzy Spinkovic. Safety car is out, uh, and that looks like the number six car uh, of Cosimo Papi uh, has sadly come to a stop. Looks like uh, just a spin coming down towards turn number six. I imagine we'll see the driver get out of that car nice and safely. Well, there we go. We can catch our breath back now. Wow, what a race this has been. Anthony Girardo leading from Gabriele Torelli, David Pouget third, Jerzy Spinkovic next along in fourth place, Alessandro Brigatti fifth, Mark Guillo sixth, Nicola Milan seventh, Thomas Picard eighth, Gabor Tim ninth, and Andreas Stuckey rounds out your top ten. Now, Anthony Girardo, I mean, what we did have was a, a lead group of eight. This just closes everything up. I tell you, one driver this has worked really, really well for is Felice Gelmini, the Italian who started 39th place. Yes, that's no mistake, 39th place. He's 16th place. All of a sudden, he can make his way forward now. He's got the whole field just ahead of him. I wonder where the 44 is. We'll have to try and pick him out. The 44 is absolutely flying through the order. They're going to be enjoying this one. It's been an absolute cracker. Any one of those top eight could win this race. Jerzy Spinkovic is absolutely flying through the field. And after that move he made, I mean, he, he ran very wide doing it, but you'd have to say he'd not be afraid to go for it. Last lap, last corner. This, this is what it could come down to in a race like this. This is going to be an absolutely fascinating end to this race. I'd say possibly one more lap behind the safety car and we should be away. That car looked like it was being retrieved very quickly from the safety team here at the Red Bull ring. Anthony Gerardo, Gabriele Torelli, David Pouget, Jose Spinkovic, Alessandro Brigatti, Marc Guillaume, Nicolas Milan, next along, Thomas Pica, Gabor Tim, Andreas Stuckey, those are your top ten. Nicolas Mikovic, we have Giacomo Trebi, Mariano Alonso, Christian Riccarini, Guillaume Mayo, Felice Gelmini, Julian uh, Baziret, Jusso Pantia, Sandro Subek, who we saw come off earlier in the race, and William Mazzetti rounds out your top 20. Stefan Poldeman is next in 23rd, Alessio Alcidi is 22nd, Giacomo Giuseppe 23rd, Chen Han Lin 24th, Giulio Benzi 25th place. As we suspected, safety car is in on this lap. Sandro Coutini is 26th, Victor Stefano 27th, Henrik Siebel is 28th, Vittorio Zadotti is 29th, René Steenmitz is 30th, Douai is 31st, Horn is 32nd, Daniele Pasquale next, uh, Damiano 
Pichetti, the 34th, Pietro Blumetti, the 35th, Gabriel Alonso, 36th, and Nico Labello, 37th. Lorenzo Baroni next. Uh, Cosimo Papi is out of the race, sadly. And then we have uh, uh, Gian Alberto uh, Cordana uh, also uh, down in 40th. Safety car is in this lap, few laps remaining. Anthony Gerardo will now take the pace of the field uh, in that uh, navy blue and orange liveried car. There you can see him weaving. As he comes up to the penultimate corner, he might think about starting to get his foot down here. Gabrielli Torelli right, right behind him will be so frustrated uh, he ran wide uh, during that attempted move to take the lead. Here we come then, up to the penultimate corner. Are we going to see Gerardo get his foot down now? Yes, he does. Through the penultimate corner he goes. Decent restart there from Gerardo, but Torelli suspected it, and he's gone with him as they make their way now in towards the final corner. David Pouget there in third. Then it's Jerzy Spinkovic. Watch him in fourth place. Alessandro Brigatti is fifth place. Marc Guillo in sixth place. Nicola Milan then in seventh place under all sorts of pressure from Thomas Picard in the orange livery car as they head up through at turn number one. You can see them sideways under braking with the tyres now a little bit colder behind the safety car up towards turns two and three, side by side a little bit further back there. That was Felice Gelmini trying to make a place. Felice Gelmini there going past Guillaume Mayo. He's made another place. He's up to 15th now, is Gelmini. Side by side there. That's uh, Spinkovic defending fourth place from Alessandro Brigatti. And it looks like Gelmini uh, has made that place. He is. He is into 15th place now, is Felice Gelmini. Fantastic driving, less than three minutes to go. Defending there is Gerardo. Sits the car in the middle of the track, but almost going down the inside was Gabrielli. Torelli did have a think about it, didn't he? David Pouget in third, Jerzy Spinkovic fourth. Alessandro Brigatti right with them in fifth place. Marquio in sixth there, under all sorts of pressure now from Nicola Milan. He's going to have his mirrors full of Nicola Milan, the championship leader. Heading through at turns six and seven now, Gabrielli Torelli. Has he just been planning this all along, I wonder? Has he been waiting for a last lap assault? Let's find out. Just over two minutes plus a lap to go. Up towards the final two corners. A little bit further back there, we saw some battling going on three wide. It was a little bit further down the field, but it's all kicking off for the lead of the race as we see uh, the uh, car 116 there, Giacomo Trebi there, uh, I think making a move uh, on Andreas Stucchi. That's a battling in and around the top 10. Here's a move further back. And that's the, uh, oh, that was a move that was never gonna work, was it? Number 333 there, defending from the 43 car. That was Damiano Bicetti trying to make a move on Lorenzo Baroni. Down towards the uh, turn three we go, car 53 uh, has been given a penalty uh, as well. That's one of the cars a little bit further down the field. Let's concentrate on where we are for now, though. This is uh, Jose Spinkovic uh, side by side here with Brigatti. Brigatti trying to make this move for fourth place in that pink and white car. Not quite able to do so. Uh, Gerardo was one wide in the lead of the race. He ran onto the sausage curb there. Did Torelli manage to find a gap on the inside? Not quite. Well, Gerardo is definitely, definitely feeling the pressure now. We might be going on to the last lap at the end of this one. We may squeeze one more in. Down in towards turn four. Oh, running wide there. That was uh, Brigatti running wide. I think Marquillo then has squeezed through into fifth place. That might see Nicola Milan into sixth. There they are. Three wide. Thomas Pica in the orange there to the left. Three wide. Nicola Milan in the middle of this sandwich. Marquillo is the number two now in the lead of that queue in sixth place. Spinkovic did hold on to fourth place as well. There's, uh, is that Gelmini making the move? No, that was uh, Marco Mariano Alonso making the move for 13th place on, on Gabor Tim. We might get two more in here. Are we going to go on to the final lap of the race? I think we will. This is going to be going on to the final lap of the race now. Anthony Gerardo leads us around the final corner for the penultimate time. One lap to go here in the first race at Red Bull Ring in Clio Cup Europe. 
the sixth round of the championship and Anthony Gerardo leads us up towards turn number one. You can see the car moving under the braking there. Gabriele Torelli right behind him and Anthony Gerardo just running a little bit wide there and that's delayed him on the exit slightly. Gabriele Torelli right on his rear bumper as they come up towards Turn number three there is Gabriele Torelli going to be able to find a gap on the inside. Gerardo covers it off. Torelli there going to the outside. Battle on the brakes between the pair of them. Gerardo covers it off nicely. Is Torelli going to be able to get the switch back? Not quite. Right, we go again down towards turn number four. Puje right there ready to attack or pick up the pieces in third. Likewise, Jerzy Spinkovic. Here we go down towards turn four. Are we going to see a lunge from Torelli? No, sits in behind for the time being. Goes with Gerardo through turn number four. Lock up somewhere in the background as they head through five and up towards six. It is Gerardo leading the way from Torelli. Puget in third, Spinkovic next. We're side by side as Marquio going round the outside there of Brigatti. Not quite able to make the move as Nicola Milan now goes through to sixth. Picard will go through to seventh. Out front though, who's going to take the win here of this race? Is it going to be Gerardo? Is it going to be Torelli? Is it going to be a drag race to the line? It may well be as they come up towards turn number nine for the final time. Anthony Gerardo has driven a superb race in defence when required. Made some fantastic moves at the... Whoa, big, big slide from Gerardo. Contact there with Torelli. And it's going to be a drag race to the line. Who's going to take it? Pouget to the right of screen. Who's going to cross the line first? I think it's Pouget. David Pouget wins the race by just under one and a half tenths. I don't believe it. David Pouget has won race one here at the Red Bull Ring in Clio Cup Europe. Anthony Gerardo, after driving a textbook race, throws it away at the final corner. Torelli in third place, Spinkovic in fourth. Have you ever seen anything like it? David Pouget in the right place at the right time. He wins here at the Red Bull Ring. David Pouget, what a fantastic drive from him. Was in the right place at the right time when required. Anthony Gerardo will be kicking himself. Here he comes through the final corner and he just carried far too much speed through it. Behind him, Torelli had nowhere to go but in the back and David Pouget just picks that outside line. There you can see the slide from Gerardo. Torelli nowhere to go but in the back and in the yellow and white. Pouget says, thank you very much. I'll have the race win here in the Red Bull ring. Look at that slide. I mean, it was a great save in the end, wasn't it? And Pouget coming through there just, just takes the win by under a tenth and a half of a second. What a fantastic end to the race. David Pouget is your winner here at the Red Bull ring. Anthony Gerardo. If it's any consolation, we'll take home a podium finish. Gabriele Torelli finish a fantastic third place for him. He will be absolutely furious with Anthony Gerardo, though. Jerzy Spinkovic, a well done to him. He's drove very, very well for his fourth place. Confirmation of the result coming up on your screen now. Bugatti in fifth, Nicola Milan drove well to come through the field and finish in sixth place, started on row seven. Thomas Picard, seventh place for him. Mark Gio, eighth. Andreas Stucki, ninth place. Nikola Milkovic, tenth. Giacomo Trebi, eleventh. But the driver of the race coming from Felice Gialmini started 39th, finished in 12th place. 27 places gained for him. He is the driver of the race, in my opinion. Mariano Alonso, 13th. Jusso Pantia, 14th. And then we had Sandro Subek next. Julian Bazaret next, Alessia Alcidi, then it was Riccarini, Polderman, Lynn, Sinemis, Mayo, Stefana, Zadotti, Siebel, Steenmitz, Horn, Pasquale, Coutini, 29th, Bensi, Blametti, Alonso, Douay, Prosetti, Albea, Tim, Baroni, then we had uh, Coldani, Mazzetti, and Cosimo Papi who we saw go into the gravel down at turn four. I bet he can't believe that. David Pouget, wow. <laughs>
Unbelievable. <laughs> Good sportsmanship from Anthony Gerardo to come over and congratulate him. Just carried. To, I, I, I think it was just a case he just chucked the car in far too heavily, and it was immediately lost the car. We saw something similar. Well, I think far more extreme at Imola. It was a, a clip that uh, went quite viral after, where uh, coming down the hill into the double right. Driver chucked the car in and slid sideways, four-wheel drift all the way through, just managed to uh, hold on. <laughs> so it's not something we haven't seen before. But here's the highlights of the race. Gerardo would lead the way, got a poor start, and Puget took the lead of the race right at the start there to go through into the lead on the left-hand side of screen. He would lead us up towards turn number one for the first time as uh, Anthony Gerardo dropped down to second, Gabrielli Torelli uh, would go through to second, Anthony Gerardo dropping to third, got back through to second, then took the race lead back from Puget going up towards turn number three. This was contact, Sandro Subek uh, went off into the gravel after he made contact, uh, an unfortunate uh, clash of doors a little bit further back. Puget battled with Gerardo. This was one of the moves of the race, actually, down the inside of Turn 1. We didn't see much overtaking there. It was one of the very few ones we did. It was a superb move from Puget as they came through in towards Turn number 3. Three wide in the background. That was a fantastic move as well. That had to be another contender for move of the race. Jose Smikovic making two places. Then that's when we lost the uh, number six car, which brought out the uh, safety car, Cosimo Papi. And on the restart, we had a sprint to the line, and this was the last corner. Gerardo leading all the way, got a drift on through the final corner. Torelli nowhere to go, and Puget picked up the pieces to go through and take the win. We said it was a race that could come down to the final corner of the final lap, and it did so. And David Puget wins here at the Red Bull Ring. <laughs> Well, <laughs> there it is one more time. Wow. I haven't seen anything like that for a long time. That incredible stuff. Incredible drama. I mean, Jerzy Spinkovic. Watch him in fourth place. I mean, that, that's the loss. You see, lost it straight away, Gerardo. And then you just got to nail the throttle at that point uh, to keep the car back round. Even Spinkovic in fourth place, if that, if that finish line was a little bit further up, he would have definitely been on the podium. He was only a tenth away, but Puget just, just got back on the circuit before that grass hit him. Fantastic stuff from him. Well, fantastic stuff uh, from Puget, he takes the win from Gerardo and Torelli. We will do it all again tomorrow. Make sure you join us local time here in Austria at 4.30.